guys and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be testing uh, the exploiter passive in the champion system. Now I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, so for the past week since Homestead dropped, this this is Homestead in case you're wondering. Um, since it's uh, dropped I've been changing my champion system around uh, between um, raids and just just doing the daily pledges uh, and I've been changing it to to activate um, activate the exploiter passage okay it's a bit of a cost um, 75 champion points into the ritual tree and the only thing here that can help us is Thermitage as a mag sork um, <coughs> but just at the moment I've got uh, just your standard meta sork so 100 into Ellie Elfborn um, 66 in Alcorn, 1 into Melee Expert, and 33 into Thermoturge. Uh, we need 75 to get Exploiter. So let's just look at Exploiter really quickly. Uh, increase your damage against off-balance enemies by 10%. So, um, that's actually pretty good, and we've been testing this in raids situations, um, in Veteran Mall, Mall of Akash, uh, VAA, etc. And it's definitely a DPS gain, there's no doubting it. Um, but I've been changing my system back to, um, my CP spread back to what you see here. And I was just wondering, I couldn't really um, notice much difference in solo play. So I thought, well, what if I just keep it uh, 75 into Dormitoge and just keep the exporter passive full time? You know, is it going to be that much of a loss in solo play? So I thought I would uh, test it out. Now, what is off balance? As we can see there, uh, damage against off balance enemies by 10%. So off balance is um, it's kind of like an effect, like uh, blinded, uh, disorientated, etc. Uh, and the main form of that we'll be looking at today is uh, in the destruction staff line. Uh, blockade of storms. Now it's blockade of storms because I have a I have a, um, a lightning staff equipped, as you can see. So that turns um, elemental blockade into blockade of of storms. Now, if you look there, it says um, uh, and setting concussed enemies off balance. If we look at the bottom bit there, it does X amount of damage to the area and then set concussed enemies off balance. Okay, so now we know how to get off balance is from concussed. So what is concussed? Um, you know, it, and, and it's another effect like burning, frost, uh, etc. So if we come down into the passives here, if we go elemental force, as you can see here, it says increase your chance to apply the burning, concussion and chilled status effect by 100%. You don't have a 100% chance of applying this, it's just doubled your chances of applying it. What are the chances? Uh, it seems to be pretty low. I want to say three to five percent, maybe a little bit higher, but it doesn't seem to be a lot. Um, you can make the judgment for yourself. Anyone that does know, please comment below. I'm curious. I haven't gone looking for it, uh, but I know it's low. So now we know that all of our shock, any anything that deals shock, is going to um, is going to have a chance to to apply concussion. And as a sork. We have a lot of shock abilities uh, in our repertoire here. Even Force Pulse um, apply shock damage, as you see there. So what I'm going to do to test uh, the off balance here and test the damage is we've got to keep this as uniformed as possible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just lay down Elemental Blockade and continue to do heavy attacks, and we're going to take uh, take our heaviest heavy attack and compare it when we change our CP spread. Now to make this fair I'm going to get rid of proc sets so I'm lucky enough to be running a full set of burning spell weave um, but if we look at the fifth item down the bottom there uh, when you deal damage you have a 20% chance so we want to get rid of that because there's a 20% chance and something we don't really have control over. So we're just going to do that and same with Lambrus, okay, so 10% chance to summon a Meteor, blah blah blah. Now we want to get rid of that too because uh, we can't control that. Uh, and the weapon on the Maelstrom, yes it applies an effect, but uh, that effect is guaranteed, so it's a, it's a given. 
Now you don't have to have fancy gear for all this, right? You don't have to oh, wait till I get legendary gear before I test it. No, you, you don't. Um, we're measuring a given amount of numbers. We're, we're measuring the difference between two numbers, and as long as those numbers are acquired uh, through the same method, um, we we don't need to go crazy and you know you can test. We could test this with no armor on at all. It wouldn't matter. Okay, so skills, just for starters, um, I do have Mage Light on both bars and it comes back to that whole chance thing, so spell crit uh, is 50%, so the thing is there is where we run into trouble is when we do eventually set the target off balance and if we do another heavy attack and it doesn't crit, um, then that can affect our reading at the end, so we really want to crit as much as possible. <coughs> So I've got um, I've got mage light slotted on both bars to give us the best amount of chances um, to get an equal reading. Okay, so I'm just going to run through here and um, and uh, do the test. So we're going to do ten heavy attacks, nine to ten heavy attacks each test, and then uh, I'll bring up the results on combat metrics. Now I'll probably show one or two of the actual test but it's time consuming it might drag the video out long I'm sorry this is going to be a boring video but if you if you're generally interested in results then uh, then definitely watch on um, but yeah sorry it's going to be terribly boring so uh, so let's get into it So the target hasn't been set off balance at all yet. You'll know when he does. He'll um, get the squiggly uh, circle above his head and he'll fall over under a heavy attack. Um, so it hasn't happened yet. This is the last slot. So that's the last slot. So the target didn't get set off balance at all. Um, so um, there is no chance of proccing that. Okay, so we're able to load combat metrics. Okay, so our heaviest attack there, uh, yes we had plenty of crits, and uh, our maximum heavy attack with no uh, off balance at all uh, was 16896, okay. So now what I'm going to do here is uh, another bit of a test before I change my CP over. I'm going to apply, I'm going to lift my chances here of applying um, of applying the concussion uh, effect so what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to chuck my full armor on here which should lift my crit value yes it does it's lift my crit and also I'm going to proc Lambus which is going to give me extra chance and I'm also going to drop liquid lightning and what this is going to do it's going to give me um, it's going to set the target off balance and uh, give me a heavy attack on a off target, uh, off balance target. Mm, that didn't work. Gotta love the animation cancellation on this, don't you? There we go. The Lambrus hasn't procked yet, here it is. Target still hasn't been set off balance. There's off balance, beautiful. Okay. So we got uh, a couple of good hits there, hopefully we got a crit. And we'll have a measurable um, a measurable outcome there. Come on. Thank you. So there's a new one. Okay, so a big difference. So we got a crit on a um, off balance target. And that's lifted to 27.903. So 27.903, that's not bad at all. Okay. So let's rip three grand. Uh, I think that's five, and this is, I want to say. 30. Oop. 30, 1, and take the back, I think, and pump this fella up. Let's 
say 75 bang on 75 so now we have the exploiter uh, passive activated here now let's throw three grand away thank you sauce okay so now um we have the, uh, the exploiter passive now let's see just how it compares with um, the heavy attacks once we do set this target off balance uh, we'll, we'll see how much more see how much more damage we can achieve so let's uh, just the wall of element to start with Okay, so we set the target off balance there once, so hopefully we got a good crit. And uh, let's have a look see to what we got. Okay, so our max heavy attack was 24. Now, did we get a crit on that? Hmm, there's a good possibility we didn't. Crit was 50%. Oh, and we got two shots on there, so I'm going to run this again. Uh, hopefully you set the target off balance and get a, get a crit. So let's have another go. Okay, so that one was a little bit longer just to make sure that I got the concussion in there. Okay, so uh, let's see what we managed. So exactly the same. So that's that definitely proves that um, that exploiter is working very, very well there. Okay, so I do believe in the very first test our maximum was just a tad under 17k okay uh, and then um, uh, that was with all the other stuff on there so we'll leave that one so these are the two comparable ones for starters is uh, is 24644 and um, 16896 so uh, not um, 16900 so as you can see there's a considerable dif difference there uh, with the exploiter passive, but mind you, um, <coughs> it did uh, it did proc the first time, and I just double checked it again, so it did proc here. As you can see, that those two readings are the same, so it's spot on. Um, so it's a considerable difference, that's for sure. Um, you would have to do a DPS test just to make sure. See that one there is actually more DPS. Uh, and for the same amount of skills used, so seven zero eight four seven four eight zero. <laughs> That's ironic. Um, so as you can see, with uh, with more points into Elemental Expert and more points into Elfborn, we seem to have been doing slightly more damage uh, um, without. The exploiter, the exploiter of CP spread, okay, slightly more. That would probably increase in a full rotation by how much? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred DPS uh, a second, possibly. Um, but it, it is a measurable difference. So let's um, uh, and as you can see there, oop, wrong button. As you can see, the um, that's our concussion. So we only had one concussion uh, in, in that um, in 18 heavy attacks that we did. So uh, we only had the one concussion. So it didn't proc that much at all. So let's heighten our chances by putting um, by putting Lambris back on and dropping a few extra abilities to help us out. And let's see how that goes.
Okay, so that time we had a much we had a much more uptime on concussion, uh, which was very interesting. Oh, there we go, 32,800 32, uh, heavy attack. That's that's actually higher than what I, I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely up there. Uh, concussion. So we only did eight heavy attacks. Uh, so on concussion here, we've had five procs of on of concussion, uh, and that's pretty amazing. Okay, so uh, if we go back. Uh, to this one here, um, we had nine hits, concussion proc five times. Our DPS, this is with um, the non-exploiter champion spread. Our DPS is 11, 5, uh, 9, 2, 15, 7, uh, 5, 6. So a considerable amount more. Um, so now the exploiter is not only increasing the damage here, it's also increasing the damage on liquid lightning, blockade storms, lambris, it's doing everything, it's 10% on everything. So if we can keep the concussion uh, up, then it seems to be that uh, that the exploiter passive in a solo scenario can be quite viable uh, indeed. So that's quite interesting and that there, that's pretty high, 32k heavy attack, that's that's unreal, uh, it's very surprising indeed, and that's without Warhorn, that's without um, Spell Power Cure, and that's without uh, um, Combat Prayer, in a, in a raid situation, a heavy attack theoretically uh, could be well and truly up around 40k possibly, I, I'd have to test it sometime. Uh, that, that's phenomenal for a heavy attack, really, it, it really is. Uh, so anyway, I think that should be, that should be about it. Um, so I would say in a solo play, if you had, if you had uh, the 600 CP that, that it fully available to you, I probably wouldn't really change a CP in the blue tree. Um, just for day-to-day -day delves, um, Melson Marina might be a bit different, it's a whole different kettle of fish, um, I'm not entirely sure about that, but just for delves, I can't really see the sense you're, as a Sork, keep that in mind, if you were a Magblade, Magpla, a DK, mag DK, I would probably say no, I would change your CP back, but as a, as a mag sork, then I would keep your CP in favour of the exploiter, seems to be better, um, but it's definitely better in a raid scenario, so uh, that's the difference there guys, um, like I said, absolutely batshit boring, um, but hopefully it helped. Now, if you see something an anomaly in the video that that I that I missed, something I've changed that, that you can point out that I've done something wrong, please do, and I'll I'll amend. That's for sure. Um, but at the, this point in time, I think the, the evidence evidence is there for other people to uh, to see. I think if you're able to keep up time on concussion then the exploiter CP spread obviously is the better way to go and as a Sork I think we have plenty of uptime but like I said if you're a DK or a mag, Magpla, Magblade then no you probably don't so uh, but I hope this has been useful and hasn't um, been too crazy boring um, and uh, if you did like it and did learn something from it please leave a thumbs up it does help and uh, as always cheers